What's going on guys? It's your boy Adjen back again for another Code Geass Lost Stories video. And for today, I made the global tier list and I want to share it with you guys. Uh, this tier list is purely based on the JP tier list. I removed every unreleased characters that are not available in global right now and put them all in one tier list. Take note guys that tier lists are pretty much objective. It varies from person to person. You may agree or disagree with me and it's fine. So just take it with a big grain of salt. So let us check out my uh, global tier list now. So we have here the ratings. We have S+, plus, S, A+, A, plus, A, and B tier. Uh, this one is updated up to the new accomplished C2 character. So we have here in the S plus ratings. We have two three star character at the top of the list why these two we have here jeremiah and student lelouch uh, i'm talking about this uh cheerless by the way from the app media uh, as you can see here in the in the s plus cheerless here we have here jeremiah and lelouch and the rest are not yet available in global right now so we have here jeremiah and lelouch jeremiah is a really really top tier character even though i have not unlocked my jeremiah's full potential yet uh, if you only read this skill set you will know that she he is broken as you can see here the skill one recover dp on deployment high so increases deployment points by 19 upon placement so once you place jeremiah into the field you will instantly gain 19 deployment points that is already really really powerful especially you can already set up your tanks to block the enemies uh, really really early on and also once you've unlocked the skill to the level 60 this one as you can see rapid relocation really really high meaning means that uh, this skill to will uh, reduce jeremiah's redeployment time by a certain amount so the, re 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 the redeployment time will now become very fast so Jeremiah is a really good uh, pass redeploy character. So the technique or the strategy to use for Jeremiah is that once you summon Jeremiah and place your necessary characters on the field like tanks or some uh, DPS characters, you retreat him and then wait for the redeployment time to finish then redeploy him again to gain more DP. That one is a really good powerful combination. That is why uh, the ratings for Jeremiah is really, really high. Up to now in JP, this is a uh, latest uh, JP journalist, by the way. This is updated uh, up to now. So yeah, Jeremiah got a while this uh, really, really powerful character. What about Lelouch? Lelouch is a pre character that you've got from the, I believe, from the pre-registration reward. Uh, Lelouch is a stunner and also a pass redeploy character. It seems that in this game, pass redeploy characters are deemed broken, in my honest opinion, uh, judging by uh, the ratings of the JP players for them. As you can see, the redeployment time of Lelouch is really, really fast. And the cost is really low, uh, only 9 cost. And the skill 1, upon placement, stuns all enemy units within range for 4 seconds. So this one can still be uh, go up high once you uh, raise uh, Lelouch. And stun is really, really valuable uh, crowd control ability. In, and I think uh, in most games, stun crowd control debuff is really broken. If you can stall more time, then uh, you will be able to set up your uh, field with more powerful characters that you have in your arsenal. That is why uh, I believe that uh, that is the reason why uh, they rated Lelouch really, really high on the chair list. Now, moving on to the S-Tier category, we have here uh, Cornelia, Kalen, C2, and then Dittard. Uh, Cornelia is here because she is just a, a powerhouse. Once you deployed Cornelia on the field, she is a powerhouse to be reckoned with because uh, her attacks are really, really strong. Her Night Prime ability is really, really strong. I mean, the, yeah, the skill, the active skill. And also, she is a buffer. She will buff in the entire uh, your entire teammates that are available in that field uh, when she deploys. And also, not only that one, she will also gain another attack boost for herself. 
That is why when you launch uh, Cornelia on the field, it's already pretty much she will clear the field. And also the cooldown for the active skill is really really low. You can uh, probably uh, not really spam but the activation requirement or the it charges really really fast. That is why I believe uh, that is how they rated uh, Cornelia in these uh, ratings. Next we have Kalen. Kalen is a tank. A really good at that. And also not only that one, Kalen has a really good, uh, the, a pretty decent damage also. If you see Kalen, I have Kalen. I'm only missing one five, no, I'm only missing two, car, two four star which is the new C2 and the uh, Susaku. And as you can see here, one second after placement and every 30 seconds thereafter increases this unit's attack power by 20% for 20 seconds and increases Nightmare Prime skill gauge repeal speed by 30%. So she can also somewhat spam her uh, KMF skill, the Nightmare Prime skill, which is uh, pretty bonkers for a tank. And she is a tank, guys. Plus three blocks. Really, really strong. And uh, early tanks in this game are really really highly rated because uh, you need to block a lot of enemies uh, when you are trying to clear the higher stages in the story mode and also in the daily quest tanks are really important in this game one of the utility characters that, that you can put in your team uh, next with Karen is C2 C2 is also a pass redeploy character that grants your teammates shield or Oops, some form of uh, defensive uh, buff. As you can see, the skill one, I can't afford to let you die. Upon placement, grants a shield to all deployed allies equal to 20% of their max HP. And increases this unit's attack power by 20% for 20 seconds. So this one only applies when you deployed her. So once this uh, buff alre is already gone, you can just retreat her and redeploy her again because she has a, re a fast redeployment time uh, she is a fast redeployment character so fast re as i've said earlier fast redeployment characters in this game are rated really really high because uh, they did they do a lot of shenanigans that can uh, trivialize uh, a lot of stages and then we have here detard detard is also i don't have detard but uh, as you can see, a two-star character rated really, really high, right? Uh, where is the evaluation for D-Tard? According to the JP players, uh, D-Tard is, uh, I think, also an another uh, pass redeploy character. Come on, load. So yeah, Detard, uh, as you can see here, has a skill that puts three allies within range into stealth mode when placed. So she can grant your ally stealth mode and characters in stealth will not be attacked until they come into contact with the enemy. So they can prevent damage from repair characters or remote characters with low durability. And also, uh, relocation time is also short. So yeah. A pass redeploy character, uh, deploy, retreat, deploy, retreat, those type of shenanigans, really, really highly rated. Moving on to the A plus tier category, we have here Susaku, the new C2, and then Mili Ashford. Uh, Susaku is a really good uh, DP generator, uh, that is uh, his value, and also you will be, get, you will be getting Lancelot tight frame once you, you've summoned him. So probably that is why, but uh, his ability for uh, DP generation is really, really good. Uh, Accomplish Hito is also a tank plus a DP generator uh, with a DP generator in inner skill set. Uh, I'm not gonna be uh, expanding more because uh, it will take a lot of time explaining one by one all of the characters' abilities here. Melee is an attack buffer. Uh, also. Mili is also a uh, Mili Ashford. A buffer and also a uh, affiliation DP cost down. So this, this one will lower your uh, 
other characters affiliate, affiliated to her uh, to have their deployment time, de deployment costs uh, to be lowered. So, she is a uh, really good uh, buffer to your team, but I don't think she is worth raising in my honest opinion, but for now as a, as a starter. Then moving on to the HR category, we have here uh, Yupimia, a healer, a really, really powerful healer, but I don't think in the early game you need a healer. Enemies are pretty weak. Uh, she's probably just a backup because uh, with the redeployment strategy, the shenanigans, the redeployment character shenanigans, you really don't need a healer. That is why I believe uh, she is rated only at HR at best. Even though she is a really powerful healer. Then we have here Todo, a tank. A really good tank also. And you will also get a Burai custom uh, once you summon him. Which is also nice. And then uh, the one, the Todo Slabber, I forgot her name. Uh, what is her name? Nagisa. Yeah, Nagisa. Uh, a, knight, a knight type, which is... Uh, some with something regards to the dp dp cost or dp redi, uh, uh, redeployment and then we have here uh, in the beacher category we have your guildford bileta dalton uh, kururugi susaku a tank uh, snizel urabe kiwel uh, what is what is his name samba senba senba um, sakuragi Sakuragi? Sumeragi. Yeah, Sumeragi. Clovis. Lakshata. Uh, Cecil. And what is this powder? Uh, Minami. Yeah, Minami. These are the beacher characters that if you don't have the ca above characters, then probably you might want to raise them. And also, you might notice that there are some characters available in global that are not listed here. They are deemed below the beacher category. That is why in the JP JPGR list they did not even put them because they are not really worth putting in the chair list. Such like for example, uh, this character, this one, uh, Bartley. He is not put put it in the chair list. Same with Mina. So those characters that are not that you cannot see in the chair list they are they are not uh, rated but in the chair list because they are trash <laughs> yes <laughs> well there you go guys that is my global chair list for code gia's lost stories let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and i think that's it for me for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe i would really appreciate it if you can help me grow my channel more and thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace.